Okay, so my camera wants to be a jackass. Hi guys, and it's not focusing. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to try and attempt to make some over-the-knee denim boots. I think inspired by Kim Kardashian. I think she was one of the first to maybe start the trend. I don't know. Um, but shout out to Ivy Dare um, and Glamazante, two YouTubers. I looked at your videos and I was like, hey, I want to try this and show my subscribers and do it for um, wide calves. So... I'm about to show you everything I'm going to use, um, and we're going to attempt, you know, this is my first time too. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be listening to Frank Ocean, Blonde, on my title. So I'm about to show you everything. I'm okay. Some booties or boots or heels or whatever you think can make it worked. I got these off of Bonanza. They're brand new, but I just bought them just to make these boots. You can get one that has a heel, but I decided to get some flat boots from, um, like I said, Bonanza. These are a size 9, and they just come a little bit above the ankle. So I got these. Uh, they were like maybe $12 or something like that. I'm not sure, but I got those. Next thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors, any of your choice, an X-Acto knife if you want to distress the jeans, a tweezer for further distressing, um, a measuring tape in case you need to measure your calves. I already know mine's are a size 22. Um, for further distressing, you can use some bleach. I'm going to use a spray because it's easier to work with. Um, some glue sticks and a glue gun I have like three glue guns so yeah and you're also going to need of course a pair of jeans and I'm going to use these over the knee boots from Avenue um, as a, a a guide so since these don't stretch like they really they're not a stretchy material I decided to use these and the jeans do stretch so I kind of know that they're already going to be stretchy but I still want to have some wiggle room so I'm going to use a leather boot that doesn't stretch if you guys get what I'm saying so first you want to take your pair of jeans these are curvy sense jeans <laughs> in case you were wondering um, I didn't like the way they fit so I decided to use them for my boots so you're just going to lay the jeans out I want these to come a little bit over the knee um, a little bit more over the knee than uh, I guess a regular pair of boots My exacto knife was really just to do like that. Um, hopefully, I can zoom in and let you guys see, but um, you can just do like that with your exacto knife to get that effect. And hopefully, let's see. Okay. see if you just you see you start to get that little frilly frill right there just by running the exacto knife so I kind of like that effect better so I'm just gonna go and do that
interesting. <laughs> so in the meantime and in between time, I am about to get my glue gun warmed up. My jeans are currently in the dryer. Shout out to NCCU for making washing and drying free. Cause I would not have paid a dollar fifty to wash and a dollar to dry those jeans. I would have had to wait. Because that would have that would have been too much. <laughs> so um, I got this from Walmart for like four dollars. And um a hundred glue sticks for like four or five dollars as well. You can go to Michael's, you can get them practically anywhere. I think Dollar Tree even has these. So um yeah. Let's go ahead and warm it up and I'll be back with the jeans and Okay, so the bleach did something, a little something. I mean, it didn't do the most, so, you know, it wasn't pure bleach. So, uh, we got a little lightness going on. Um, the distressing came out beautiful. Let me give you a close-up of that. Um, you can do way more than what I did, but uh, I kept it really simple. So, that's uh, what we got there. We do it this way. We get some space. So, I'm going to measure it like that. And... I'm basically going to cut around the boot. Let me make sure you guys can see. So I just flipped the boot over so I can have more room. I'm going to cut all the way up. So let me just cut off this bottom portion. And it looks like this I cut around the boot so now I'm gonna turn it inside out basically and um, I'm gonna glue it Okay, so it's like a group of people walking past the door. So if you hear a whole bunch of noise, it's cause like, I don't know what they're doing. But anyways, so the jeans have been sitting for a while drying. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fold them out the right way, I guess. Um, I don't know how this hot glue is gonna hold up, but it's been seeming to hold up pretty well for everyone else. So hopefully it works for us too. So now you have basically your boot. <laughs> like this is your boot. <laughs> um, that's how the seam looks. So it kind of looks like it was sold. You know, it doesn't look bad. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is... So I don't know how I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to try to do something right here. I'm going to put the... Try to slide the pant leg onto the boot I guess I'm gonna cut the hole where the zipper should be now I'm gonna go in from the top and pull the boot up this is interesting I guess it's trial and error alright now I'm gonna stop it about right there and I decided to do flats I think I mentioned that but you can do um, heels if you want to I just I don't wear heels so I knew I wouldn't really like that all right so this is how it's gonna be on the boot cut and try to cut it a little bit neat because I mean this part will be seen All right, this is fun. Just glue. Oh, I need another glue stick. I'm glad I bought a hundred instead of the ten. All 
glue everywhere. That's not. Okay, guys, so these are the final boots. My tripod started acting stupid, so I had to take them off. I'm able to zip them in, and they come a little bit above the knee, and I think they are really cute. Um, we try to stand up. The only thing is they're a little bit loose. So I could have um, actually had them to be a little bit tighter. I don't want them to fall down as I walk. So, yeah. Nonetheless, I like them. But yeah, I don't feel comfortable with the um, hot glue. I'll probably go ahead and sew over that because I don't know. I just don't want to walk down the street and then they bust open or something. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, this is them.